What's going on, Trippy Gang? All right, guys. So today I've had a request to talk about what's the best types of headphones to get, especially if you want to stream that's not too expensive and then you don't want the actual cheap, cheap version. Well, I'm going to give my opinion and I'm going to tell you some headphones and show you some that I actually have myself because, guys, we got plenty right here in the Trippy Room. But let me go ahead and tell you this much. Price sometimes is not always the best. So just because it's expensive doesn't mean that's the ones to buy. I'm going to give my opinion, and I'm sure there's thousands of other opinions out there, but let's dive on in and see what headphones I have and what I would suggest for your streaming and gaming experience. Let's get started, guys. All right, Trippy Gang. Let's talk headphones. As you see, I have a nice pair on my head here. These are your DT990 Pros. All right, let me go up here. I've got every one of them listed, okay? We'll get to every single one that I have pulled up at the top of my web browser up here. So first off, what I want to talk to you about are the um, DT990 Pros. If you know anything about the DT990 Pros, it would probably be ninja wears them okay uh these are a really really top brand hammer dance ninja oh my god i could go on and on everyone wears these if you know who max rhymes is max rhymes is a facebook content creator and also a twitch streamer so guys if you don't know who he is please check out max rhymes be sure to check out hammer dance of course check out ninja hey check them all out but Max Rhymes is actually a real friend of mine, okay? And he's a real legit content uh, streamer. He hit up uh, Apex, you know, it's pretty much like TwitchCon, all that. So they had the whole Apex competition, tournaments, all of that going on last year. He was one of your top number ones that was in that tournament. He's an absolute outstanding person. Don't miss out on Max Rhymes and check out his headset, all right? Max would tell you these headsets are absolutely amazing, and he would recommend them today to you, okay? Um, he pretty much got me started in my gaming career as far as in tips, and, you know, he led me in the right direction. He's got a lot of good uh, information. I guess you could call it like pamphlets, programs that you could actually purchase from him that will actually help you along your journey of streaming. Man, if anybody's got the tips, they've got the setup, they've got the go, it's Max Rhymes. All right, I don't care what anybody says, and I'm not saying it because he's my friend, because if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, I never knew Max until I looked him up on Facebook one day and I actually saw him playing. But I'll tell you where I actually found his name at was right here on YouTube. I was looking for tips. I was having problems setting up my Facebook streaming Bam, Max had the answer. So guys, if you're somebody who wants to get into Facebook streaming, hit up Max, look up his videos right here on YouTube. I'm telling you what, he's one of them guys, if you've got questions, I promise you, he's going to answer you back with the message. And you know what? He's going to give you the answer. So you see where Trippy's at today. And Max would tell you if he was sitting here that, you know what, back this time last year, Trippy's room didn't look like this. I didn't have this microphone. Sure didn't have the Go XLR, and I didn't have the DT990s. All right, let's dive on in and let's talk about it. They got very, very soft cushion. This up here is a uh, like the leather uh, little casing over it, and this here actually snaps off, as you see. You can replace this. You can actually buy the cushions. You can buy everything for the DT990s. $149 is about the price that you will find on these headsets. Uh, and it's not because they're like, oh, all these wonderful high content creators have them. That's not it. They're an amazing product. Really, really great sound quality. And here's the thing. The end of it actually has the big jack, the auxiliary jack that would actually plug into an amplifier if you wanted to use it for like your music career or if you wanted to use it on some type of mixer board. And it will actually unscrew and underneath it is your regular 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack that, you know, we're using right now on my Go XLR. So like I said, these are absolutely amazing. You just pull off the cover as you see up here and there you go. You can actually change this out. You can change the cushions. There's, oh my God, it's amazing. And let's take a look at the cable. So as you get on down, the cable's not straight. It's actually stretchable and it has, you know, the little spirals in it, I guess we could call it. 
This is one amazing headset for $149. Now, if you go over to Amazon and other places, you could possibly get this headset a little bit cheaper. When I purchased this headset, I literally got a set of uh, earbuds with it that was made by the same company, same name brand, and they're the ones that just lays across your neck and you plug in. And I got them pretty much for the same price. So it's kind of like I got two for one. Um, I guess you would call it Buyer Dynamic is, I guess, how they say their name. So please, whatever you do, I know that you guys are trying to stay in a certain price range because when I was asked to make this video, it was, you know, hey, what headphones would you suggest that are not too expensive, like $300 compared to, you know, something cheaper? So this is kind of, you know, at a lower range of starting out. But if you want great sound quality for your stream, I would highly recommend the DT990s. Now let's move on up to where actually I'm at in my career and all of that. So moving up, I started out, <laughs> I don't even want to show these on camera. All right, but I'm not hating on them. So if anybody's got them, please don't feel I'm running them in the dirt. All right, so let's talk about this. I actually have, I don't have the picture pulled up for these. I didn't even take time to look it up. So I actually have, let me turn my mic down. I just, I just noticed that my mic was probably like glaring. Like, or blaring. It's a glaring. It's probably glaring, too. Uh, I do apologize if it was a little loud, guys. All right. So um, these here are your rigs. Now, rigs was something that, you know, you could purchase over at Walmart. I really don't even remember the price, but uh, I want to say they was like a little less than 100 bucks, And uh, I want, maybe they was like under $80. I honestly don't remember. I do know that they have really, really great sound quality. This piece up here, uh, it's a little soft. After a little while, it does hurt your head. And then, of course, you know, like I said, the ear cushions are absolutely amazing. And uh, the microphone, I'm not a fan of the microphones like that. Because when you put them on and then you got the mic, some people like the mic right here. But if you're in the middle of playing a game and you're breathing, you know, how it's like, that's all you hear. And that's the most irritating sound in the world is to hear someone breathing in their microphone, especially when you're streaming. Guys. Don't get one of these. And thing is, when you pull it away from your mouth, nobody can hear you. So I like the ones that are a little bit shorter or maybe like they're held back. Now, you can keep this one back. But whenever it comes down to like wireless and all of that, I just really don't recommend it as far as streaming because next thing you know, your headset goes, you know, then something else goes. You lose a lot of connection. And sometimes if you have it plugged in like a USB hub or something, you know, if you don't go into your... um control panel and uh, actually turn everything off so that the computer doesn't recognize it as in hey this item will wake the computer or the computer will wake this item from going into sleep mode and you know if you have no idea what I'm talking about and that's something else that you would like to hear you know just let me know and I will walk you through all of the sound quality stuff on how to change that if your mouse is freezing up you know if you go to move it and it goes into like sleep mode then all of a sudden it kicks back on I'll show you guys how to fix all of that so yeah just let me know uh, if there's any other tips or anything that you guys need help with. Moving on. We're not even going to talk about these anymore. Like, oh, these are the Rig 700s. That's what they are. Rig 700. All right. I'm just going to throw them in the floor because guess why? I don't care about them anymore. Guys, while you're at it, smack that like button right here because why? We're spreading positive vibes. Remember that. All right. Right here. All day long. Smack that like button. All right. Now. I know you're probably about to say, Trippy, why are we talking about expensive stuff? It's perfectly fine, guys. We're just going to discuss it. But these are not expensive. If you're looking for Astro and you want to get into some amazing, amazing sound. Now, I'm a top number one fan of Astro. If I had to choose which type of sound quality headphone stuff that I really wanted on today's market, of course, I'd go Astro. Astro's the way to go. Like, I'm just, I love Astro. There's so many colors you can choose on here. You know, there's the red and blue. You've actually got uh, the black and blue ones. And then you've actually got the black and red ones. Now, to be honest, the blue and red are absolutely my favorite. Some people don't like red, but hey, like my wife doesn't because why? She's redheaded, but she's not that red. Uh, anyways, the mic piece, I do not have it in there. I've actually removed the mic piece. It's sitting over there. I'll tell you why. I use this microphone for you guys to be able to hear me with. And when I'm in the middle of a game, that's everybody. My party chat, everyone hears me from this same microphone. Now, guys, I absolutely love this headset. I'm telling you what, I've been rocking with Astro since, like I said, I reached out to Max. And then I'll tell you what got me rocking, rocking, rocking with Astro. I wanted to start streaming from my Elgato capture card with my PlayStation. 
And there was no way to be able to get sound to transfer through without having audio optical hooked up. Well, I started out with the PlayStation Slim, and you can't because PlayStation Slim does not have an audio optical. So then I ended up purchasing uh, the uh, PlayStation Pro and gave my little girl the Slim to play on because she didn't really care about sound. Any headphone would work for her. Well, I got down to it. And I reached out to Firefox Worldwide. If you don't know who Firef uh, Firefox Worldwide is, I can't even talk. Make sure that you look up Firefox Worldwide on Facebook. He's another great content uh, creator. I never knew the guy from here to the camera. Swear to you, I didn't. Reached out to him, was watching him stream one day. It randomly popped up. Started questioning him like, hey, can you tell me how to get sound to come through? Because I noticed that he had the green screen. He had it all. You know what? Firefox never hesitated one time to reach out to me. He started calling me. He even called me at like 3 or 4 in the morning when I was up working really, really late and helped me walk through the whole process and said, Trippy, if you want audio to travel through, the best way to do it is you've got to find Audio Optical, which is getting the MixAmp Pro. All right. So the MixAmp Pro is something that actually looks like this. You can actually get the blue headset that's Astro A40. And then let me just pull it this way. There we go. So this is your Mix Out Pro, okay? But now keep in mind, this headset does not go with this. That one right there that's on the screen right now, which is the ones I'm wearing, these will plug straight into your PC, your Go XLR, whatever it is you're using. Now, if you want to run Astros to your PlayStation through Audio Optical, of course, the Mix Amp has Optical on the back of it, as you see. So you would have to have the Mix Amp Pro or buy the HDMI to Optical Adapter if you don't have, like, for example, the new PlayStation 5 does not have, you know, audio optical. So with that being said, you have to buy the adapter to run to it. Either way, you have to have a mix amp that has optical so you can transfer the sound through. So that's exactly what got me into that. When Firefox told me that, you know what, that was my first go-to thing. I automatically, right then, went to Best Buy to see if they had them. They did not have them, but GameStop did. Stopped at GameStop, made the purchase, had to wait on them to arrive, and I've been with the Astro A40 uh, MixAmp Pro since day one when it comes to PlayStation. All right, so let's get rid of these. Now, I do swap up a lot back and forth with headphones. Just really depends on what's going on, how I'm feeling. You know, sometimes, you know, they make your ears a little sore, but let me tell you what I love about Astro. Astro is a company that will allow you, now it gets a little pricier than $149, but they will allow you to customize your own headset. And what I mean by that is like this. If you want to put Call of Duty Warzone on it, if you just want to put like the graffiti look or the messy little cool colors, you can. There's nothing that you cannot do here to your actual headset. So guys, I'm telling you what. Check out astrogaming.com. Uh, all the information I'll leave down below so you guys can remember. I'll just actually drop the same links that's up here now. But keep in mind, go to Amazon or somewhere like that to see if you can get them cheaper. Now, Astros, you're probably not going to because they're usually the price they are. Walmart does sell the Astro A40s if you find the right Walmart for $149. And these are wired, guys. Also, the cushions come off. You can actually go straight over to... Uh, uh, Astro, I about called them Amazon. Go straight to Astro and you can actually uh, just, you know, purchase these. They just sit right down on top of there and the magnet is strong. As you see, it sucks right to it. And if you don't like your plates on the outside, they're magnetic as well. You can get new plates and, you know what I'm saying, you can even have them customized with your logo, with your name, anything on them. So these are absolutely amazing. Got the soft cushion on the inside right here. It's like a little foam piece. And of course, you know, they let up and down. So, guys, grab you some Astros, all right? Oh, and the mouthpiece on it, you can actually get it to where it's a different color as well. All right, now, let's go ahead and move on to the next ones that I want to talk to you guys about. And let's see, it's these. All right, I'm just trying to go in order here. All right, so the Razer Nari Wireless. Of course, they come with a USB uh, adapter. Their 7.1 surround sound gaming headset, uh, THX audio, audio adjust headband and swivel cups, chroma RGB retractable mic for PC, PS4, PS5, you know, like whatever you want to use them on, they're there. All right. So these, uh, I'll be honest with you. They sound amazing. All right. I'm sponsored by Razer. Razer does not sponsor this video at all. No one sponsored this video, but trippy mail mail. Here's the thing with Razer. If you want to use them and get a discount for these, 
be sure that you use my link below and you'll actually get yourself a discount and you'll support Troopy Mail Mail at the same time. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate that if you did. Now, we did have another guy that actually bought one of the Razer Kishi game pads and he used my link. So, hey, I greatly appreciate that happening. Now, let's talk about these. The cushion is super, super thick and it feels wonderful. All right. So, like, they're amazing. But what do you notice about them? They're super huge, right? Guys, I don't like this on camera. I feel like I'm fixing to take off and go to space. It's just not my thing. But whatever, each to their own, right? Uh, I do know a lot of people that actually use these and uh, they like them, but they sound great. Once again, if you're into something that's wireless and the battery could possibly go dead, these are yours, all right? So I don't really know much more to say about it other than what I've already told you about it. It's got a nice little comfy band up here. I don't like the wire piece. I never have. And uh, yeah, other than that, they're cool. The mouthpiece, it just uh, folds up. The microphone part does. I don't like that about it either because once again, it gets all in your face and all that. All right, guys. So let's see what we have next. These are your Steel Series Arctic 7. All right, they're lossless wireless gaming headset with DTS headphone uh, X. Let's see, V2.0 surround for PC and PlayStation 4. All right. Now talk about them guys i have tons of headphones we could talk all day long i have always been a fan of steel series once again i don't like that they're just wireless because the batteries go dead a lot that's kind of irritating but hey it is whatever these are 149 dollars before we get started hang on by the way those razors are 183.99 they're probably cheaper here than they are on the razor uh site but like i said you can check my link and see and possibly with my discount you could get them cheaper um, all right, so back to these. These are $149.99, and these are just your Steel Series Arctic 7. They're wireless. They come with the little USB piece. Uh, the headset right here, of course, is adjustable, the strap. So if it's too tight on your head or too loose, you just tighten it up. I do like how the cushions flip out. These are super, super soft. Now, for $149, these are amazing, all right? And the microphone piece actually, you know, goes into it, flips, all that. Like, I do like it. It will light up to let you know red is mute. Of course, when it's off red, then that means uh, it's not muted. It'll turn green when it's on charge or sometimes orange if the battery's too low. I really, really like these headsets. They're absolutely amazing. Steel Series done an awesome job with them. So would I recommend them? Yes. All right. Now, let's see what else we can get into. Let's move over to the next headset. And these are going to be your Arctic 7P. All right. So these recently just came out. They're like for your PlayStation 5. You can use them on other devices. I love them. Love them. Every time I play Apex or some other game that I'm playing with, like the Magic Man or like I'm playing with Gamer Mom or MNS 340, when I'm sitting out in, uh, you know, the Trippy Cave, that's what we call it instead of, uh, you know, we don't call it the Man Cave, it's the Mail Cave. So when I'm just sitting out in open area playing on my 70-inch flat screen, those are the headphones that I actually use. I really, really love these headphones. They are absolutely worth $149. You can get these on GameStop as well. That's where I recently got them from. The mic piece, once again, just like the other, lights up red on mute. But the only thing I don't like, if I barely move my microphone, then my party chat can't hardly hear me. So I have to make sure it's like dead in my mouth and that's irritating. But they got the adjustable headband as well. Cushions are super soft, flip out. They're the same thing, just different color, to be honest with you. So would I recommend these? Absolutely for the PS5. These are my top number one pick for the PS5 right now. All right. Now, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and go over and check out the Arctic 9X. All right. These I bought for my Xbox like last year or probably the year before for Christmas. I've had them. Don't hardly ever use them. My wife, you know, she'll use them. They sync straight up without like USB, a, a little adapter or anything straight to your Xbox. And these are absolutely amazing. At the bottom, it says Windows Sonic Surround Compatible PC Xbox Series XS or Xbox One. So if you want to use these on your PC, you could. All you got to do is sync them up, you know, like to Bluetooth or whatever. They're amazing. Now these here, I've got like the green uh, in the band. They adjust the same way, got the same cushions. Microphone works the same way. Now, are they worth $199? Uh if you're an Xbox lover, absolutely. Like, yes, 100% without a doubt. 
If you're just, you know, like choosing between consoles you play here and there like I do, I probably would never spend 200 on these again. But they're absolutely amazing. All right, moving over. Let's see, what do I have next? Uh, let's see, the Arctic 7, I just showed them. All right, I showed y'all those. All right, now. These, going back to Astro, these are your Astro A40s, which I showed you the Mix Amp Pro just a minute ago. So this is what the headset would look like if you chose to get it with the Mix Amp Pro. It's going to cost you $249.99 at GameStop. This is where I purchased them from. I paid the same price for them. I've never had one issue with Astro. I totally, totally recommend this headset, uh, especially if you're looking to stream and you want audio optical. You know, like I said, you'll have to go out of the way and buy the adapter, which you can buy it through Astro Gaming when it's in stock for about $40. Or you can buy an original HDMI to optical adapter for about anywhere from 10 to the same price on Amazon. So you choose whatever you like. All right. Now, let's take a look at the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. $79 at Walmart. I recently bought a new set because I had the HyperX uh, Clouds. And uh, I think it was HyperX Cloud X that I had. They were the gray ones, whatever those are. I am out of this world in love with HyperX. You have no idea how comfortable something is until you get it on your head. These things are super, super comfortable. I love them. I'm telling you, if you know who Lachlan is, Lock is actually a YouTuber. He's a content creator. Uh, he's a huge Fortniter. He is sponsored by Astro and a huge, huge fan of Astro, and he wears the same headset, all right? Uh, I actually saw him with his headset on, and I was like, hey, I'm going to give it a try and see what locks into, and these are dope. Like I said, I already had the gray ones, and I love them. They do come with the microphone, uh, as you see in the picture here, but I do remove the microphone because why I still use this uh, microphone here. So these are the way to go, all right? Make sure that uh, you realize that up here, this cushion is leather, but it's super soft. And I mean, like, I'm telling you, so soft. Like, it's out of this world. They've actually sewed it on there, as you see. You've actually got, you know, the real sewing going around. It's got the little metal piece. You've got the wiring where it's hooked up. You know, they do extend. So, you know, if you got a bigger head, whatever. But, guys, these are going to be so comfortable on your head. Like, oh, my God. And they're super loud. Like, OMG, I don't know what HyperX is doing and what they're putting in them, as you can see in the pictures here, but these things are absolutely amazing. So, guys, if you want to stay in the cheaper price range and you want something outstanding that will work for PC, PlayStation, whatever it is, and you want to stream, the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset is something I would absolutely re recommend today. But with that being said, I think that's all the headsets I literally have. Oh, no, I don't. I lied. I got one more headset for you guys. Let me see if I can actually pull it up up here. Uh, I got two more headsets. All right. Oh, there it is. All right. My bad, guys. Getting a little ahead of myself here. All right. I about left it out. So let's talk about another set that actually recently just came out. These are your Astro uh, A20 uh, Gen 2 wireless headset. I bought these straight from GameStop. $119.99 is what I gave for them as well. And, uh, of course, they are more like hard plastic. This up here is super, super soft. It's got that straight like uh, rubber right there. And, oh, my God, that rubber piece is so comfortable. The ear cushions are out of this world comfortable. The microphone piece comes down. They fit on your head just like that. They actually look super dope. I got these, uh, you know, they're for uh, PlayStation 5 as well. They come with a USB adapter that plugs straight into it, connects just like that. So, guys, if you're looking for something around the $100, you know, price range, go ahead and grab these $119.99 Astro A20 wireless headset. You can also get these for the Xbox as well. They're super dope, and I would recommend them all day long. But keep in mind, I am an Astro fan, so that's why I'd recommend them. Now, if you're an Xbox lover, I didn't leave you out. Xbox lovers, here it is. So, this one on the screen is actually for the PlayStation, but the one I have in my hand is Xbox or PC. Doesn't matter, they're still the same. You can look it up, but I think on there, those are black and silver, and these are black and gold. These are your Astro A50s. Now, let me talk to you about the difference in the 50s compared to the 40s. You cannot change out the side plate, so remember that. You can't customize these. And the microphone piece uh, that you want to talk through does not come off, okay? So you're stuck with what you see. This part up here is, of course, soft cushion again. You know, they do adjust, you know, to fit your head, whatever you need. 
These are absolutely amazing. And they come with a base station, as you see in the picture. The base station keeps it charged, has audio optical on it. It's got the whole nine yards. So with the new Xbox, you would still have to buy the HDMI to optical adapter because they, of course, financially, nobody cared and didn't put one on the PS5 or the Xbox. But if you want to use these for your PC, you have nothing to worry about. Hook them up, link up, and rock out. Astro is super, super loud, and you can actually adjust the sound by pressing up and down right here. Like this piece pushes up, this pushes down. You can go back and forth with it, and that's how you can control the sound. So you have like surround sound, you have Dolby sound, you have everything with your Astro A40s with the mix amp and the Astro A50s. Guys, you just have to get in there and check it out. These have an equalizer on it, and uh, yeah. I absolutely love this headset. All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up right there. That is the end of my headphone journey. So, guys, I hope this video helped, especially to the ones that asked for me to make the video. hope this kind of gave you an idea of some things. But if anybody has any more questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, as, you know, I will help you guys out. We'll try to figure out whatever we can. And uh, hope you all have a great day. Be blessed. Be safe. Be kind to one another. I'm Trippy Meltmail. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Join up with the Trippy Gang. Drop a like on the content, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps bring the views in. Means the world to us. And hey, turn that notification on. I don't want you to miss any content that's dropped right here because it's going to be lit for 2021. We'll see you guys soon. Share that video.